Hi everyone, it's Baldrick here and in today's episode I'm going to be talking about when you should be upgrading your graphics card. So this is episode 6 of getting into PC gaming. So graphics cards are mainly responsible for running the games. If you've got a bad graphics card or an older one, it's going to struggle to play the latest games. And if you've got a newer one and it's the top of the line, say 980 Ti, it's going to have no hassle playing games now and for a bit in the future. So let's talk about when you should be considering upgrading your graphics card. So there's really one thing that you need to consider before you upgrade your graphics card. Are you happy with the performance you're getting right now? So if you're, let's say you've got a relatively old graphics card like a GDX 480 or maybe 460, something like that. Uh, if, was, if you're getting the performance you want, you don't necessarily need to upgrade. If you're only playing on a 720p monitor, that's going to actually be sufficient for running the latest games. But if you've upgraded your monitor to, let's say, 1440p and you're using a 460, that is not what you should be doing. You should definitely be considering a graphics card update. And that also applies to any other sort of monitor that is out of your graphics card's range, or if it's struggling to hit the frame rate that you want. Say you're accustomed to playing at 60 FPS, and the only way to get that is to lower your resolution and lower your frame and lower your graphics settings. That's really when you should be looking to upgrade your graphics card. Now, there's some things you need to consider when you're doing this. How much of a VRAM upgrade am I getting? So what VRAM is, it basically loads, I don't get it fully, but it basically loads all the game's textures onto this video memory instead of loading it onto your system memory. So the more memory, the generally high resolution textures you can load and it's better the more memory. So you want to be aiming, if you're getting a new graphics card in 2015, say you had a 2 gigabyte one, you generally want to be doubling that. So I'd be going for a 4 gigabyte one and a good 4 gigabyte card would be a 290, 290X, a 970, even though it's got apparently 3.5 gigabytes and 500 gigabytes of slower RAM, it's still about 4 gigabytes, so that counts as well. And you really want to be doubling your RAM. So if you had a 1 gigabyte graphics card, the minimum VRAM I'd say is 2. Now, with the latest games, VRAM actually is starting to matter. I've got 3 gigabytes of video memory on my 780 Ti, and even that is getting almost maxed out by a lot of games at 1080p. So you really want to have that VRAM. And next is sort of the class of graphics card you're upgrading to. So if you've got a, let's say, 460, you don't want to be upgrading to a 560 or even a 760 as it, it's sort of the same tier. You want to be getting a level up. So if you're on a 460, maybe get a 9... I guess you can get a 970 because that's going to give you a massive upgrade but then again it really depends on what you want your graphics card to do and why it can't do it anymore. So you need to do your research, see what graphics cards are re recommended for your particular setup and why your current graphics card isn't able to do it. Answering these questions will basically let you know when to upgrade and that's almost about it when it comes to graphics cards updates. Uh, as long as you've got a 500 watt or 600 watt power supply, you should be good to upgrade to almost any graphics card. And then comes the question, all right, so I've got my new graphics card. How long is that gonna last me? To be honest, I cannot fully answer that question, but generally you should be good for about two years, three, if even four, if you really want to push it to limits, but you'll be definitely lower, lowering settings by then, but you can theoretically use it for as long as you want. It's just when you're unhappy with a performance, that's when you should generally upgrade your graphics card. Now, I'll probably talk about CPUs in the next video because CPUs actually can make a decent difference to your gaming experience as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, tell me in the comments if I missed anything or if you liked this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a nice day. See ya!